Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to Uber Eats Clone. And uh, in coming videos, we are going to make some progress on the front end side. We are going to do uh, lots of integration of APIs and lots of services. So let's get started. So first of all, I'm running this app after a long time. So I just need to check if things are connected, like uh, all the front end auth services talking to the proxy gateways, taking the request to the auth service. And then once I'm logged in, my session is getting initialized properly or not. Okay. So this is my sign in. I go to the restaurant and here I can see stuff. I mean, this is currently a mock data not coming from the APIs. We need to integrate them to the APIs. Currently we are just getting these from the session. Uh, sorry, from inside a cookies, refresh token and access token. And we can just check what this refresh token and access token contains. So we are already making a profile API call. If you see when I uh, reload the page, what will happen? So we are doing this profile call, which is actually giving us the session token inside of cookies. And based on that, uh, our front end component is making API call to give me the latest profile. And I have a required permissions. I'm a restaurant admin. My email is okay at the read gmail.com. Now, next thing is because we are going to work on the UI routes. So we already have these routes, which is a home sign in search or sign up. Okay. And uh, then we have a restaurant page, which has a left sidebar outlet in the right sidebar. And this is how the, the routing works. The outlet is something which is, which keeps changing. And uh, you can actually render the multiple children's based on the route path. Okay. So this is our uh, simple two layout we are using app layout and uh, restaurant layout. So in app layout, you can see the left sidebar or right sidebar. App layout is we are using for the restaurant pages. And similarly here, we are going to have a restaurant order, payment, settings, chat, tracking, history, all the routes which you see uh, when I'm logged in post login, I wanted to access. Okay. I wanted to see my all the addresses. I wanted to see my order history. I wanted to see my live tracking of my current address, current uh, order. I wanted to see my payment history, all sort of stuff we are going to put inside an app layout because in the app layout, we have a left sidebar, a right sidebar, and there is a middle section, right? Outlet, which we are going to change with the help of this. So what we are going to do, I think uh, in the round routing, because what happens is if you look into this, the, uh, what the error says, error says that the restaurant route is already there and we are creating inside it. So either we change the restaurant, the root route uh, or then create all the child routes. So what I'm either I can just create these separate, separate uh, routes or we can use a different uh, process also. So this is a restaurant and restaurant ID. So inside each, I can put all these things together. So my root context is now different. So my routes will be each restaurant, each orders, each payment, each restaurant ID, all these things. This is how the, my, my final structure look like. By default, when you hit eats, it's going to render the restaurant page. So if you can see, this is the restaurant page it is going to render when you hit a forward slash because the, the default path is empty, which is taking you to the restaurant page. When you hit eats restaurant, it is going to take you to the restaurant page. Here we can define, okay, which particular component we wanted to render. That's all us. Currently I have a restaurant page created. So I'm putting the same to avoid any runtime errors. I mean, it is to avoid any errors. So it's restaurant, it will render the same page. It's restaurant ID, it will render the same page, orders payment. So we already have this left new bar, which we are going to use. In the left new bar, we have a settings, payments, orders, tracking history and all. So when you click on to them, we should be able to navigate you to your favorite, your target page. You can have your favorites, you can have your settings, your uh, old history of what you all you have done. So all these things we can put in this routing. Now let's take a look onto the API side, like uh, what all we have. We have these two important APIs, restaurant search and the dishes. So restaurant search, is, both are public APIs and both of these are public APIs. I mean, uh, you can just hit the search and that will give you, okay, which restaurant you wanted to get. And all these things we are going to do with the Redux. So in Redux, we are using slices and we are using async thunk to make an API call. 
okay and this front end which is a react app which is managing the session based on the cookies is going to hit the other services through the proxy so we have proxy for the restaurant service for the user service for the card service for the order service for the payment and we are going to use redux heavily here because redux will provide us the the state management at the client side here we are using auth slice for authentication and uh, we are just going to create a card slice auth slice dish slice and then we are going to import all these slices together and going to create a one common store object so here you can see this is my sign up component here i'm making api call and how i'm managing the session i'm using this uh, higher order function uh, so this custom hook use auth right and uh, this is how i can get my proxy ur i think it should be 3000 restaurant service restaurant search so what i'm doing is on the the front end there are many things which we are doing okay showing the showing the different tiles and then showing the different dish menu item that's on the landing page right so first we are going to do the api integration on the landing page so here this is a restaurant slice this is a restaurant service 3000 okay this is a restaurant service so it is going to hit this particular api restaurant search piece one limit three because i wanted to fetch only three top restaurants i mean top there can be a filter criteria okay top rated restaurants or the best restaurant so this is where i'm going to display this suns out bow goes out right so this is the place where i wanted to display the top three restaurants which i have in my system okay so i'm just doing this redux slice and uh, here we need to provide the provider so this is how we i have added the store and uh, providing the provider so that inside child components you can start accessing these use hooks these hooks custom hooks like uh, use dispatch and use selectors to access the state from the redux or to dispatch the actions to the redux like dispatch this action or uh, use selector to access the particular state tree object from the redux state and here we have auth and the restaurant reducer so restaurant reducer is pointing to the restaurant slice and here we are fetching the restaurant from the proxy gateway okay here uh, make these api calls i mean you can have external api service there you can make a okay class api service okay fetch me all the restaurants and you already have a base url just uh, hit this you just need to use the proxy endpoint okay so this is like fetch restaurant and use selector here we also need to define the selector okay from which selector we wanted to fetch the restaurant so here you can see the api call is already being made because we have we are triggering this api call from the uh, home page and here you can see i see a lot of garbage which i need to clean up because i'm not putting the right data in the redux state known serializable values were detected so let's see we'll clean this thing because what is happening is I'm putting, I think, the, the Axios response object in the Redux state. That's what I expect. And there are two things, restaurant and the total count. Okay. So this is what I'm getting. And if I just, you can also check the Redux state, what is populating here. So it's a restaurants. Okay, restaurants. This is an object which contains the, it should not be, so here I need to clean up lots of things initially it should not be an array or object so here you can see restaurant restaurants and then there is a data object inside data you have a data inside there is a data again so what i'm doing here is i am assigning at line 38 action dot payload dot data so whatever the exuse response i'm getting i got the dot data and i'm assigning dot data to the restaurant so my redux state is now simplified earlier i was just assigning the whole exuse response object now accent dot payload dot data so now i have a state tree pretty much clear state dot restaurant dot restaurants that will give me the state tree from there i just need to access the data object data will give me the total count and the restaurants array object okay so in your component like where you are actually using this selector this top restaurant selector you can go to that and here you can see this is like headline card component here i'm using youth selector and the dispatch at line 15 so at line 15 use effect 
you make the api call get the data boom you have all the data in the redux state now i need to access it you can use use selector i mean this is like we are doing since years now this is the redux uh, custom hook use dispatch and use selector and i'm fetching the top restaurant and from the data object uh, from the selector i got the data object and from the data also i am accessing only the restaurants array it's like this structure right it's just to give you you don't need to do a dot b dot c and here i can see the redux state and there are three restaurants available so what i will do is restaurant dot map and there are i think additional restaurants i'm trying to print so there is a data data is we we are going to use the typings so that's what i might promise you because there is already a typing package i just need to get the typings for the restaurant dish menu items addresses and all and here i got the three restaurants okay you can just debug them using this redux dev tool this is what redux dev tool does it gives you the whole redux t tree and I need to fix that. So now uh, there are some bottom components which I will remove. These are the two divs, and we will be just seeing only three top uh, restaurants. Okay, this is the data menu, and this is where it is. Now it is coming from the live API data coming from the proxy gateway. I mean, this may be the public API, but uh, we already have a cookies which we can manage. Now the next thing we are going to do is you are we are going to use the dishes API. Because this is API has all the filters. If you can see, we are filtering based on the food type, filter type, order by. I mean, this is just uh, my design. This can be created in lot better way. So instead of uh, filter by, there can be a order mechanism. So order by is there, and then uh, filter by. Okay, filter by you are doing based on the ratings. Filter by price, because filter and order will go parallel. So you are saying filter by price then you have to do order by ascending and descending filter by rating then you have to do order by ascending and descending rating in the ascending order descending order filter by number of orders or something whatever the filters you wanted to apply a food type veg non-veg chicken veg non-veg vegan or uh, any kind of italian south indian north indian but these are the specific categories i have veg non-veg vegan and uh, ascending descending and here you can see my filters are getting applied based on the price all these things really works right currently we don't have much data so i'm not able to demo you okay this is how it is working right but now next thing i will do is because i have a whole landing page where i need to show maybe the random 10 or 20 dishes items i can use this api maybe we will use uh, some elastic search in the back end that's extension which you can try which always gives the result based on the ratings and top dish menu items popular on the platform right it's not like we can just display any random things based on the ratings based on the the price based on the popularity based on the uh, all these criteria we need to understand and then show the top menu items if you wanted to do it like this okay so we are going to hit uh, dish dishes and then there, there is the same and you should always change this uh, async thunk name which is line 19 because if you have a two actions for the same name they will always collide and conflict and they won't trigger so instead of this we are we can just copy this instead of a restaurant slice it can be a top uh, or dish slice and then you have fetch top dishes and we are using this create a sync tongue which is actually in middleware earlier we used to do with the redux promises redux uh, redux saga redux tongue so Redux Toolkit is actually a bundle with everything. RTK queries and also those concepts are there if you wanted to use them. Here we are just using plain Redux implementations using Redux slices. So we are creating Redux slices with the reducers, initial state and uh, actions. So this is my component which I have on the landing page. I will copy this uh, use selector and dispatch stuff. And I will just display put it here. Okay, so use selector. We need to use some particular selector to fetch the dish menu item. So here we are using fetch top dishes. Use selector. We don't need to do a top restaurant. Top menu items is something we need to do.
so let me debug what are the errors because i just copied the code and now i need to debug and see what is wrong with this so state dot dishes now we can also deep check the redux state like what is my state tree looks like it is state dot dishes dot dishes or something else that you can identify easily from your component so we are trying to access the dishes let's see the data and try to print the data here it should not be top restaurant it should be top dishes that's the mistake i did and let's see what we are getting in the data so first i wanted to see what i am getting in the redux state when this is getting triggered so it is complaining about this so i need to clean up some stuff so fetch restaurant when i trigger this i should be able to access the redux selector and here we are setting the things inside the dishes dishes is an array object okay top dishes so these are the three different actions pending fulfilled and rejected this is getting triggered we are getting the top dishes also but where it is applying that state so that we need to check i'm just looking into the code and trying to debug it okay so here i have top dishes state dot dishes should be very small thing okay restaurant it should not be restaurant it should be dishes so it's a fetch top dishes and then once you do it what will happen is in the redux state you should have a dishes okay and we are storing that inside a restaurant object so this is initial state uh, redux restaurant and dishes this is also storing things inside a dishes so i'm just skipping some part because i need to i just need to debug this so i'm just pausing it and trying to see what is there so we are getting a restaurant and dishes and now we'll go to the component and see it is getting 500 because this api is not giving us the data so top restaurant and this is the top dishes so this is dishes let's see what it is why it is giving 500 if we try to see the logs skip value is not a number please fraud okay we i think these are the required parameters page and limit this is something which we have forgotten so we need to specify it no matter what we are doing these are the required parameters save it and try to reload the page i think now at least we should be able to get the data and this data should be able to we should be able to populate in the redux state and then we should be able to debug like what is going inside a redux state so action dot payload uh, dot data it should be data only because uh, we need to fetch the data from the redux state so here i'm just trying to get the data so i will just use a youth selector and inside a youth selector you can just pass a top dishes dish data and then try to console log this data and try to see what it is printing so here i can see non serializable value okay i understand this point this is coming undefined what can be the region just let's see so inside a state we have a restaurant okay there is no redux state named as a dish so this is a problem so state dot restaurant dot dish so state dot, okay so it's a state dot restaurant dot dishes this is the actual redux state and we were missing this piece okay that's why it is not able to give me the data now at least it is giving me the data 
so state dot restaurant dot dishes okay it has a data status error and inside data we are putting lots of uh, exios response so i need to put action dot payload dot data so it will put me put only the required stuff not okay now it is clean so this is what my redux final redux state i wanted to have have state dot restaurant dot dishes that contains the data object that contains an array of data objects right so that i can read easily i can get all the top uh, dish menu items from here because my redux state is now streamlined i fixed couple of issues and uh, here i will just do the cleanup because this component has lots of garbage stuff which we don't need first i will just try to print all these things inside an array so here dish data dish data dot map and here in the bottom what we are doing is uh, we are actually looping on to the food items right so instead of that we have a dish data dish data dish data dot map and then all the price name and all we can put so we, we can also understand okay what are the type properties are coming from the apis dish data dot map is not a function okay I think this data, okay, this data dot data, it should be. We can, we can destructure this and try to print uh, what is the this data contains. This is uh, not the right way of uh, debugging things, but I'm just trying to fix this. Okay. So dishes, it contains children. Then there is a data object also that is. Uh, giving you an array so here data and you can call that this data so this is a destructuring now this data is really an array okay and now we can see something is coming up that's good some make so we are making some progress and here you can see all the tiles are popping up with the name and we just need to fix the the image because they are getting the thumbnail also so we can just print the thumbnail value also on this uh, tile if you see the whole object we have category thumbnail price delivery time and all those properties so here we are what we are displaying is the image so alt dot thumbnail and uh, name is fine okay now we will save it and i can see the result okay this is it looks really nice currently i just have a dummy data maybe really garbage data doesn't show anything much we need to clean the data and put it okay and here also I see lots of uh, warning on the Redux state. So maybe I will try to fix those warnings in the next video. It's only that we are populating too much in the Redux state. Okay, uh, see you in the next video guys. Thank you.